Hi, this is Bishop Frank Dupre here, and I want to talk to you today about a subject that is on the minds of many people, and it's, it's the return of Jesus Christ to the earth. Too many people are talking about the return of Jesus in such a way as that they're saying, well, you know, he's going to be coming back any minute now. Things are happening, and uh, that's what's going to happen. He'll return at any moment and be back here, and he's going to rapture the church and take the church away uh, for seven years. They're going to be up in heaven. There's going to be a beast on the earth, the Antichrist and all that, and everything is going to be a mess here on the earth. But you know, that picture has only been painted for just about a hundred years. Before that, no one believed that. People believed that the church was going to continue to grow and to develop, and that we would enter into what they would call a golden age, where the church would truly be the Lord's voice in the earth. And that's the thing that the apostles taught. In fact, Paul the Apostle was the one who wrote most of the New Testament, really believed in that. He felt that the church is going to rise up, a remnant of the church is going to come forth and demonstrate the power and the glory of God. And we're looking to see that happen today. Now, many people are not looking for that. People are looking at Israel, they want to see a red heifer get sacrificed, or they want to see uh, some type of situation take place where uh, Israel has something happen to them. Uh, and then they'll, they'll read the book of Revelation and put all sorts of things in there and talk about it. How that's supposed to be uh, a sign of the times. Because Jesus said, look at the signs of the times, you know. These things are going to happen. It's a very sad thing, but the things that Jesus talked about on the Mount Olivet Discourse, most of that has already taken place. I'm not going to get into that today. I want to I read a scripture to you. It's in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and I'm only going to read a couple of verses. So you know, bear with me here as I read with you, uh, starting at verse 20. And it says this now, But Christ is risen from the dead, and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ all shall be made alive. But every man in his own order. And that word order is a word we're going to look at. It's a Greek word, tagma. It's a military term, okay? Christ the first fruits. Afterwards, they that are Christ at his coming. Then the rest. Or in the King James, it says, then cometh the end. But a better translation says, then the rest. Whom he shall have delivered, uh, when, when he has delivered up the kingdom of God, even to the Father, when he has put down all rule and all authority and all power. So that's the verses I want to concentrate on, and I want to look at the word tagma in there. That is a military term, as I said, and it ties into the word parousia, which is the return of Jesus. When we talk about the return of the Lord, we're talking about the parousia of the Lord. Now, tagma, being a military term, uh, it means in order. That's why it's translated order. It means by rank. It means in importance. These are events that take place, one, two, three. And here Paul the Apostle says Christ has risen from the dead. In the verses beforehand, he said, if Jesus isn't risen from the dead, we're the sorriest of all people alive because we're wasting our lives here being good and preaching the gospel when Jesus is not alive. But Christ is alive, he says. He is risen from the dead. He's the first fruits. Okay, he's the firstborn among many brethren. Secondly, he says, then there'll be those that are his at his coming. So there's the first part of the resurrection of the dead is Jesus Christ himself being risen from the dead. The second part are those who are his that is coming. Now that's where people talk about the rapture. And though we're going to get raptured into the sky and the earth is going to be underneath the control of the Antichrist and the beast. I don't want to talk about that right now. But anyway, those that are his that is coming. Then the rest. So there's three parts or three stages to the resurrection, the total resurrection. Every single living creature, every single living person, I should say, will be resurrected from the dead. Christ is the first. When he returns, those who are his at his coming, they'll be resurrected or raised from the dead. Then the rest. So there's three stages. We know the first stage has taken place. The second stage is yet to come, and that's where the controversy lies, in the rapture. But if we look at the word parousia, the return of Jesus Christ. I want to give you the way that Paul used that word because Paul was a scholar and Paul knew that he was writing to people and that he was writing in, in terms that they would understand and also terms that could be understood whenever they were going to be read. Okay? Parousia, his return. That word parousia was used when a Roman general who had finished a campaign and won battles came back 
to the city of Rome as a conquering hero. And at a certain point along the Appian Way or one of the major thoroughfares, he would come and a delegation of elect chosen special people would meet him and his army at that chosen place and they would then escort him into the city of Rome where he would receive the hero's welcome and the key of the city so to speak would be handed to him that's the return of Jesus in no way did Paul use a word that meant Jesus will return halfway to earth and then others will be you know raised up to meet him in the air and go away with him no there's going to be a resurrection or a, a change a transformation as Paul says in the twinkling of an eye and in the twinkling of an eye when Jesus returns from heaven what's going to happen is those that are his at his coming there's a remnant that's going to belong to him at his coming they are going to be transformed they're going to be changed in the twinkling of an eye those who were already with him in heaven those who have died already but are a part of that elect chosen group who will escort him into the city of Jerusalem where his feet shall land on the Mount of Olives they are the saints that the Bible says he's coming with his saints for his saints so he's coming with some for some and then he's going to rule and reign for a thousand years so the word parousia has nothing to do with people going away for seven years to heaven it has everything to do with a chosen group of people now that's where we get into Paul's greatest desire and I'm going to be speaking about those things his greatest desire there are seven things that Paul sought for in the book of Philippians and I'm going to get into that very soon but for today today this this is all I want to impress upon you today there is no rapture as people talk about it okay the uh, the people that talk about the rapture and how we're going to get caught up in the air and meet him and everybody's going to go to heaven for seven years while, while the earth goes to hell and the devil takes over and the beast and the antichrist are running around doing all their crazy things that's not going to happen there is going to come a time and it's probably coming soon where there's going to be a great falling away Paul says the return of Jesus the parousia of Christ will not happen until there is first a great falling away and why would there be a great falling away in the church because the times are getting bad and there is great tribulation on the earth and and believe me if you lived in India if you lived in uh, communist China if you lived in Kenya or some other nation where Muslim populations the radicals are coming against churches right now in Egypt the Coptic churches are being burned people are being burned inside their churches don't say that that's not great tribulation that is great tribulation for them so there's coming a time of great tribulation upon the whole earth but during that time there is going to be a chosen group of people a remnant an elect and they are going to walk in the image of God they're the ones that are that revelation says the bride has prepared herself they're the ones that are going to walk with the power and the anointing of Jesus Christ and they're the ones that Paul says I want to be a part of that group and I'll get into that in my next video. Paul wanted to be a part of that group. He said at one point, I have not yet attained it, but I'm pressing forward that if by any means I might attain to the out-resurrection from the dead or the second stage of the resurrection of the dead, the ekanastasia, that's the Greek terminology that's used there, the out-resurrection or the second stage of the resurrection he knows the first stage was Jesus himself the second stage is those who are with him Moses Elijah Saints of the Old Testament the Old Covenant and the new and the Saints of the new who are walking worthily of his calling and they shall be coming with him from heaven meeting those who are the remnant the elect at that point meeting him in the air yes right above Jerusalem I believe it'll happen and every eye will behold him because TV will be catching this there'll be a tremendous shaking of the earth that's going on and every eye will behold him coming back and he will land on the Mount of Olives and he will split that place wide open and there will be a judgment that takes place and he will then say to those at, at when he sits down to reign he'll say you rule and reign over cities and you go over here and you do this and that and he'll begin the millennial reign that he's going to start but as for now right now I've got to finish this up so I want to I want to say uh, goodbye right now and I want to pray with you I want to pray in the name of Jesus father I pray in Jesus name that you would touch every single person today minister to their hearts help them to listen to this over and over again to get it in their mind that the parousia of Christ the return of Jesus comes in tagma in order 
three stages. Jesus, the first stage. Those who are his that is coming, the second stage. Then the rest at the end of time when all will be resurrected from the dead. Amen. God bless you today. I hope that you enjoy.